Hey, Randy, when I say the name Godfrey Cambridge, what do you think of? Uh, let's see. Witty, erudite, and socially conscious stand-up comic? Check. Star of stage and screen? Check. Civil rights advocate who famously and humorously debated his opponents? Am I missing anything? Just that he should be much better known in comedy history, something we can rectify right now. I'm Randy Hodgins. And I'm Steve McClellan. And today our Laugh Tracks legend of comedy is Godfrey Cambridge, who built a reputation as a thinking person's comic in a career spanning from the mid-1950s to the mid-1970s. Godfrey was born in 1933 in New York City to parents who had immigrated from the nation of Guyana in South America. As a young man, he started out in medical school, but was soon bitten by the acting bug, eventually making his Broadway debut in 1957. While establishing himself as an actor, Godfrey worked a wide range of day jobs, from cabbie to gardener to office clerk to a maker of popcorn bunnies. Besides keeping him financially solvent, these gigs also provided rich fodder for a series of highly rated comedy albums, starting with 1968's Ready or Not, Here's Godfrey Cambridge. Uh, everybody complains about television, but uh, I'm an exception. Uh, I don't generally complain about it. I only have one minor complaint, and uh, that is one commercial, uh, The White Knight. <laughs> you know, that nitwit on the horse goes by, turns everything white. Lord, I hope he never passes me. I got enough problems, you know. Turn me white, I'll start running around feeling guilty all the time. You know. <laughs> Godfrey was a smash on the stand-up circuit and toured theaters around the world. But the acting bug was still biting, and soon he was appearing in top-drawer films including The President's Analyst, Cotton Comes to Harlem, and the groundbreaking Watermelon Man, in which he plays a white bigot who wakes up one day to find he has changed into a black man. You know, it's very strange. My mother always thought you were a little on the dark side. I mean, she never came right out and asked me. Your mother is in no position to judge other people's races. The way her eyes slammed up, my mother always thought she was Chinese. Silliest thing I ever heard. Oh, yeah? Well, then how come her feet are so small? And, and how come whenever you ask her when she was born, she always says the year of the dragon? And how come she was always so anxious to, to wash my shirts? Does that sound like a white woman to you, huh? My mother has almond-shaped eyes. So has Mao Zedong. Health problems forced Godfrey into semi-retirement in the early 1970s, though he took a few small film roles before he died in 1976. In recent years, his albums have been remastered and re-released, giving new audiences a taste of his unique brand of very smart stand-up. You can find out more about Godfrey Cambridge and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. 